I'm so honored to be here with you, my brother. Yes. Tell us your name. Lowell Lytle. I love you because in the theater, I see you, uh, you represent the beautiful presentation of the Titanic exhibit and everything, and uh, you fascinate us all. I've been doing that for 17 years all around the world. And of course, the John Harper story is interesting yeah. about the man. He was a Baptist minister from Glasgow, Scotland, on his way to Chicago to preach at Moody Church. When the Titanic started to go down, he ran around the decks and shouted, women and children and unsaved people, get aboard the lifeboats. He even took off his life vest, gave it to a man that was not a believer in Christ, thought that'll give him time to get his soul ready for eternity. He's in the water now, 28 degrees, salt water takes longer to freeze. You'd last anywhere from 10 minutes to 40 minutes, depending on your will to live and how much body weight you had. But all the cries and the screams ended after 40 minutes. These people did not drown. They froze to death. Reverend Harper's in the water now. No life vest treading water in that icy, bitter cold. Feels like a thousand knives stabbing him. Hundreds of people screaming all around him. And a man drifted by on a piece of wood. Reverend Harper shouted to the man, Are you saved? And the man said, No. Reverend Harper shouted, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The man drifted off into the dark, and later the current drew him back. Reverend Harper again shouted to the man, Are you saved yet? And the man said, I can't honestly say that I am. Reverend Harper's last words were, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And with that, the reverend slipped under the water and into the arms of Jesus. There were 12 people pulled from the water that night. Six of them lived. And that man was one of them. And the story was told a few weeks later in Hamilton, Ontario, by that same man who said, I listened to Reverend Harper's last message and became a believer in Jesus Christ with two miles of water beneath me. Titanic's last hero, Reverend John Harper.